Hey everybody, welcome back to Mining Modern. I'm Corbin Hostler, and I am joined by a special guest for this match. Welcome everybody, Chris Pakula, uh, three times. So, I'm going to keep this hand, because why not? It's uh, got three Chris Pakulas, also known as Medley Mage, the card he designed after winning the Invitational. Um, so, I hope our opponent's on a combo deck, because we are ready for their combo deck. We can shut down a lot of stuff. What I'd really, really like to draw a Kaiso Freebooter here. All right, so our opponent did nothing off a of stomping ground. Ooh, okay, great. So, that's a really nice draw, actually, because we can play the mayor here. And no idea what our opponent's playing, so there's, you know, running a meddling mage out blind against a stomping ground. I'm going to assume scape shift, but, you know, we don't know. But uh, playing the mayor... Okay, well, mayor's going to get lightning bolted for one, but... Uh, all right, and now we... Yeah, this is, this is great, because now we can play... We don't know what our opponent's playing, even after that lightning bolt. I don't know what my opponent's playing. The mayor forced him to do something on his turn, though. Um, and it either could have given us information against what they are playing, or if nothing else, it bridged our two-drop spot. And now on the third turn, uh, we can lay the beats with this here Mantis Rider. So a lot of mana for human spells. And the next turn, we can play double Pakulas. And hopefully have some idea of what our opponent is doing, because I still don't. I don't know what Lightning Bolt Stomping Ground Missy Rainforest means. Temple Garden. I don't know what this is. It's Naya, but I don't know what that means. It's four color. All right, it's Scape. It's got to be... All right, that makes it real easy. Okay, it is Bring to Light Scape Shift. That is the deck. We got there. We figured it out. So I think the first thing we do is name Bring to Light. Uh, the okay, this will still work. Cause we're okay, I'm gonna name Bring Light because you can cast it next turn and get Anger of the Gods or whatever that kills us. So I also really, really, really enjoy Meddling Mage um, in Modern because it rewards you for knowing your opponent's deck. It's one of the reasons I like playing Lantern, and I know. I said I like playing Lantern Control. I'm sorry. You can hate me now, but uh, it rewards you for knowing the format and for knowing your opponent's deck. So uh, I think I probably named Lightning Bolt with this one. We might be getting bolted. I wouldn't expect to get bolted here, but I still think I'd name Lightning Bolt. Um, because he doesn't have mana to cast Anger of the Gods or Damnation or whatever. Um, so the most likely thing he would do is, in the next one probably just name Scape Shift. These are cool lands. What is this from? Ixalan. I like it. This is a little sad Jace, sad lost Jace there. Yeah, uh, Meddling Mage number three, probably gonna name Scape Shift just so we don't, you know, die to that. Uh, Cryptic Command's also a thing. Um, and Cryptic Command, maybe I should have named Cryptic Command instead of Lightning Bolt. Let's we'll see what our opponent's up to here. Or it's Nissa Vital Force. Well, I sure wasn't going to name that one ever. What's it do? Oh, gross. Are you going to attack me? Probably not. It wants to keep back to block, I think. Well, that's pretty nice. All right, play our land here. Um, well, this is weird. I, I honestly don't know what to name. This is pretty clearly... I, I think I just have to name Scape Shift. Um, what's the minus on this? I don't really care if he makes five fives every turn. Um, okay. I don't care that much about the emblem, even. The question is, do I ignore it and go for his life total and put him down to ten? Or do I try to kill this thing? Or maybe I kill it because like, getting rid of his ability to make 5-5s five is probably as good as... Because it means then we'll be able to turn our entire team sideways and kill him. Which probably is the same clock in the long run as actually just hitting him five times with this Manus Rider. So that's what I'm going to do here. It sucks because it is going to take us several turns to kill this thing, uh, and I don't like, I don't like dirtling against a deck like that. But all right, well now I'm a bit of a conundrum because I can either name 
cryptic command, which is the card I'm, you know, kind of scared of. Uh, or I can name Scapeshift, which, you know, actually kills us. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And our opponent has five. He's several lands away from Scapeshifting us. Or his cryptic command, you know, does a whole bunch for him. It's so hard to just... The thing with the Bring to Light decks, they don't... They sometimes don't play as many actual scape shifts. Um, I'm not sure what the right answer here is. The fact that he fetched out that third island tells me he's got cryptic command, so that's what I'm going to name. And he could make an argument, you know, but I have to name Bring to Light. And, you know, he had one red open there. And I think that naming Lightning Bolt was fine. The deck plays Snapcaster Mage sometimes, and he already had a Lightning Bolt. So, um, but I'm going to choose to believe that our opponent fetched that third island on purpose, and it was because there's a Cryptic Command in his hand. Maybe we're lucky. Maybe his hand is Brindelite, Lightning Bolt, Cryptic Command. And maybe we're going to die to Escape Shift, and you know, that's just, that's just kind of the way it is, I guess. I could also throw away Metally Mage to kill the... Uh, or we might be dead. Six mana. Yeah, alright. Well, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that enough? One, two, three, four, five. That's not enough. Yeah, it is. It does 18, right? They need seven? They need five other, right? I don't remember. We're going to find out. Make him show us. Oh, yeah, it works. Okay. No, it, it doesn't work. I thought so. Yeah, you have to have five other mountains. And a land come into play. So you need six mountains to come into play. Okay. <laughs> That's a little awkward, but uh, I think we have lethal, right? Oh, I have 12. How unlucky. All right, let's see if we can find it then. Draw a card. Oh, that'll do it. Well, that was kind of an odd game. Um, not sure what our opponent was up to there. Oh, I, I, he surely knows how his deck works, so it wasn't that. I think it may have just been um, that he needed to have a Valakut and lands in play so he could then play lands and start shooting our creatures down. I think that that is a reasonable assumption um, of, of a play he might have made. I don't know what we want here. Oh, this seems great for me. This is probably the best, but Reflector Mages are pretty bad. Um, the Thalys are good. The Freebooters are great. The Meddling Mages are good. Uh, you know, Sathrid Necromancer... I'm going to play one because it's weird because the deck probably plays Anger of the Gods and it doesn't do anything against Anger of the Gods, but the deck also plays Damnation sometimes because it can bring to light for Damnation and Necromancer is good against Damnation. Um, so it's kind of a really hit or miss here. Zatacaster, no. Renegades, no. And Offensa, tempting. Maybe it's better than the other Fructor Mage. It does just beat down really hard if you play it on turn two. It's a 4-4, four, four and it can, you know, put a counter on something else. Tracker, too slow, don't want it here. Fiend Hunter, no. Canonist, whatever. Okay, we'll give this a shot. Not sure exactly. I don't, it's hard to know. Let's see the thing without knowing my opponent's hand. It's hard to know if I actually played that last game well or not. Uh, I'm going to keep this. This hand is very risky, but it is high reward. Oh god, okay. Thought that he was holding up a lightning bolt for us. So it's kind of sweet here, and I don't know if I'll do this or not, but uh, assuming we don't lose our... We could lose our hierarch to a bolt here and just lose the game. Uh, but we could actually name Search for Damara with this first Metally Mage and counter effectively counter it. Then again, we might just get lightning bolted and the game might end. We're going to find out. Ooh, Okay. Is that worth it? Probably. So he had a bolt, he would have 
probably use it on a higher arc. Bolt the bird and all. Because our opponent could have a bunch of stuff, and it's hard to predict all of it, but... Uh, and if we get anger of the gods, we get anger of gods out of the game. But hey, we get to counter one of the ram spells out of the escape shift deck. Which is probably about as good as we can do. That's pretty funny. Alright. Alright, so let's hope we don't get angered here. Okay, we did not get angered. Um, I guess I'll attack here. Get in with the meddling mage. Don't even care if he kills it, because... Um, Snapcast? No. What would this be? Okay, that works. We already got value out of it. Uh, so the reason also I did that that way I did that, uh, rather than play the mayor pre-combat, is because our opponent passed with that mana open. He was clearly going to use it for something. And if it's a different kind of removal spell, obviously Blessed Alliance wouldn't have got the mayor, but a different kind of removal spell very, mo very well may have. Um, so holding the mayor till post-combat you know, had a high upside, I think. Okay, so what do we want to do here? I think I play Champion and Thalia. Yeah. And the Mayor also forced him to act on his turn. So if he just has all reactive spells there and not a Sakura Tri-Builder, uh, which he didn't play on turn two even, um, then that Mayor would have just absolutely rocked him. And sort of the same thing still applies here. Obviously, our next uh, meddling mage in this case probably has to name either Scape Shift or Bring Delight. Uh, and I'll, I'll name Bring Delight because that's a more versatile one. It does cost one more for him, though. And he actually kept it as a blocker, which tells me he's setting up for a kill next turn and wants to use it to chump. I'm not sure exactly. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's really nothing to it. It just comes down to, do I name Bring Delight or do I name Scape Shift? And if I, if he has Bring Delight, it doubles as a Scape Shift, where Scape Shift will always just be Scape Shift. And yeah, Scape Shift will kill us, you know, and we'll die. That That is what it is. But he, he has four Bring Delights too. So he could just have Bring Delight in his hand and Scape Shift kill us anyways. We can't stop that uh, by naming Scape Shift. But we can name Bring Delight, which could be other things, right? If he doesn't have the lands to kill us because he only has... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands, which is only 18 damage, and we're at 20. So, naming Bring Delight here has a higher utility. The, you know, we still lose all, we still get wrecked by anger and all of that stuff, but. But, I mean, that just kind of is what it is. It's, it's, it's very interesting. He's keeping this other Sakura Tri-Builder here. I guess he just wants Chump Blocks for the Champion of the Parish for days because it's going to be the largest creature. It makes sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, huh? All right, well, Lightning Bolt on the Mare down now. That's not the end of the world. I also didn't bolt our Metal Mage for what it's worth. Uh, so I have four mana. I can play Manus Rider or I can play Thalia's Lieutenant. It makes more sense to play the Thalia's Lieutenant, I believe. In that mare, you can see it was kind of taxing. It made him use it, use it on his turn. Alright, well, I guess we just get on in there. I guess we get blown out by Snapcaster Mage, but that would kill our Metal Mage anyway, so... Okay, interesting. Uh, the new cards continue. Hour of Devastation Sup Supreme Will here. He found pretty quickly, so um, this can't be good for us. You know, I don't feel I don't feel great about the position we're in, but I think it's likely that we're dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands now. Um, yeah, we're probably dead. Okay. Bolt the Thalia, what does that mean? It means nothing? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna kite sail hard right here. <laughs> I 
Maybe I should attack first, but... Alright, here's a cryptic command. Okay. The great news by, by sequencing it that way uh, is if his plan was to um, bounce our meddling mage or whatever... Oh no, I forgot to add mana. Ah! Whatever. Hopefully it doesn't matter. I mean, I can't imagine taxing him for one is going to make too big of a difference here. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? We named the right thing with the meddling mage. I'll take the supreme will. <laughs> All right, so our opponent has to top deck his way out of it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the beautiful thing is this is only 18 damage, although that would still probably kill us. He could destroy our creatures with it. Um, okay, so he's dead. This is all he's got Spring Delight that he can't cast. We did it! <laughs> that was actually a great game. Uh, that was actually... I, I'm actually pretty happy with how I played that match. Um, correctly made the, the call on... Well, I guess what he had in hand doesn't actually matter, to be fair. But I do feel like I made the right call between Scape Shift and Bring Delight. Um, the Freebooter there, pre-combat... He's probably... like He's going to have to burn that Cryptic Command if we go to combat anyways. Um, but if it's Blessed Alliance or something, it makes it a lot worse so on I, I feel like i feel okay with that decision um then we know whether or not we should attack with the hierarchs in case he has something weird or castathalia i don't know either way that was a great match um and that was good you can see we played nothing but creatures and we interacted with a deck designed to destroy creatures so i'm corbin hostler this is mining modern this was five color humans and thank you for watching